Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle uh, Oil Forge Micro Oil Forge Update, third one I think. Um, <clears throat> what we had? Another blockage of the oil metering uh, jet and the snap drill bit inside there trying to clear it out. A uh, little bit of feedback from the koala cuddling kangaroo kissing Aussie oil burner says this coil shit basically. Um, I agree, it's going to get blocked up with carbon, um, carburised oil and be useless in no time at all. It was just a little test piece but uh, whilst, I'm, whilst I'm buggering about in here I might as well make something a bit better. And The other thought I had was on this flame tube, so we've got uh, the oil and air starting combusting up here I hope, but it's not happening. It's it's getting down into the into the forge before it's um, igniting, so I'm gonna um, make the flame tube a little bit wider. We'll have a, a divergent duct that should slow things up a little bit, and hopefully things will burn a bit better before they get into the um, <whistles> bit at the bottom forge, whatever. Right, uh, I know they just look like a few lumps of metal, but. This is the new oil air manifold. Um, air in at the bottom, air and oil at the top there. The oil comes in at the bottom here and is metered by this bolt with a point on the end that uh, has a seat inside there, which there's absolutely no chance, no there's no chance you've seen it, um, either way uh, I'm going to try it without but probably going to end up cutting a slot in in this needle so that I know it's always uh, a certain size um, I don't think I don't think the needle valve is going to regulate the oil too well because it's waste oil is a bit grainy you know um, the whole idea of this is that when it gets blocked which it because I'm trying to burn such small quantities of it, it's always getting blocked. So with this, I can leave the thing running, back the bolt off, clear the blockage, and do it up again. Yeah. And this BSP taps for compression fittings. So no more fucking solder. Uh, this is uh, a little bit more of a robust, easily cleaned um, preheat. So. What we got here, copper washer. Um, basically, once the oil and air is mixed, comes in here, out the bottom, into this. This is going to protrude slightly out the bottom of the forge, well, into the hot bit anyway. So this is going to get very, very hot, uh, and then the uh, oil and air are going to go back out of this hole and through here. Uh, doing it like this, I can. I can undo this bolt, drop it out of the forge, and run a drill bit through it when it gets coked up. So it is going to get coked up, but this thing uses such tiny amounts of oil, like probably less than a pint an hour. I don't know, maybe not even that, you know. But uh, either way, um, what? When it does get coked up, I can fucking clean it in seconds, minutes, seconds, minutes, now whatever. Um, next up, I've got the burner off the top of the forge. Rambo's still looking for rats, um, but I'm gonna make this uh, this flame tube a little bit bigger. Um, I should have a bit of tube here somewhere. Is it? Oh, okay. Um, quite a lot bigger. He. Uh, three times the internal diameter so um, I'm just going to turn this lump down get that pit inside there going to bore, bore a taper onto the inside of that so it it will all just sit together I think I think the lumps of metal are so heavy enough it doesn't need bolting together and then tear the forge apart obviously cut a much bigger hole for the flame tube and Cut a little hole beside it for the um, what do you call it? Preheat to to sit on. 
to sit in the hole so that the bottom pokes into the hot stuff. There we go, fuel tank as original. Going up to the needle valve for the air and into the fuel air manifold. Um, with the unblockable wash running metering device into the fuel air feed to the whatever that thing's called uh, preheat and then 6 mil pipe up to the burner compression fitting in the top of that bolt that bolt is the jet and you just about see the end of it through there I don't know, if anyone's watching this for the first time, there's two more videos on how we got this far so far. Uh, that big lump of stock is a <clears throat> divergent duct going into that pipe, which is three times the internal diameter of the original. Just uh, pop that off there. Take this off. Made a little divergent there. Try and, try and slow the air up. Right. One in the morning, but I'm still going to fire it up because I want to know if it works. A little bit of sprinkling there. Um, all right, we'll see what happens. It works. It surges a bit, you know. I suppose. Uh, and it leaks a bit. Getting things pretty warm. Um, I think it just needs to heat up a bit more. And then we can try doing some work with it. Maybe fix some of these leaks. getting no cold spots underneath the burner anymore. All the fuel's burning nicely. Uh, got a little dippy bits. The ground's also on fire. we a resounding success. We'll uh, keep it running for a bit and see see what happens with the with the preheater. Uh, everything else seems to be working nicely. It's not blocked up at all yet. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's happening.